We are at Mar Menor and it is quite a fascinating place. The entry looks like something out of uh, Miami Vice. <laughs> it's very narrow, it's very shallow, but it was deep enough for us. Um, yeah, there's almost zero waves, but still 15 to 18 knots of wind. So we're moving along quite well to our uh, destination. It's an uh, island right over there somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty good. Kim is a little tired today. So uh, we're gonna throw out our anchor in about 30 minutes and uh, chill for a bit. And then uh, we'll see what we have in store for today. Formula One. Formula One. And uh, maybe a barbecue. So, uh, swimming with a the jellyfish. There's a bunch of jellyfish here. Not sure uh, <laughs> if they, uh, if you can swim. Some some jellyfish don't sting, but I don't know about these ones. Whoa. Anyway, we're almost there, and uh, we're gonna drop anchor and uh, chill. It was a good day. Good morning. Uh, today we're gonna do a short trip. We're gonna raise the anchor and we're gonna anchor a little further out there. It's about two, three miles. We're just gonna anchor close to the town that has the, the bridge. So um, the idea is that we're gonna be closer to the bridge because if we get and get a weather window to the Balearics, then we're very close. Um, and it's probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable because we're, even though the waves here don't get that big, 
um, yeah, it still rocks the boat. So if we're just going to be close under the shoreline, we should be calm again. Uh, there should be some more wind coming this afternoon. So uh, yeah, I wanted to move the boat. Yeah, that's it. We're going to tow the dinghy for the first time because it's such a short, short hop. Uh, we're not even going to get the sails out because <laughs> it'll take longer to get the covers off than to, than to motor over there. So yeah. That's about it. Uh, we're gonna raise the anchor in a few and then motor off. Well, we arrived at the spot. It's a lot calmer as we had hoped. It's quite near to town and has It was a whopping, let me see, tracks. 3.2 miles. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Uh, we were anchored about there. And now we're anchored about here. Wind's coming from that direction. Uh, here is the, the bridge and the exit towards... We, we, towards... Oh, I have to download the chart still. Towards... Where are they? There are they. The Balearics. So, our, the plan is to wait here, hopefully. And then do about 120 miles towards Ibiza. If the weather window doesn't come... Within a reasonable time, we'll go up the coast a little bit more um, and we'll stop at Torre Vieja and maybe Calpe because every stop um, it brings you a little closer so you can have shorter and shorter, shorter weather windows, which maybe opens up the possibilities. Um, but yeah, we were hoping that this weekend would give us a weather window to go to uh, Ibiza. Um, yeah, if that doesn't come, then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go uh, farther up north and, and just shorten the distance and uh, try to get as close to Ibiza without sailing upwind for uh, 24 hours. <laughs> uh, nine hours was enough in the med. Uh, it's uh, it's really tough sailing upwind here. So uh, you either do it with no wind or because the the waves they the frequency is really strange. It's very steep and it's. One, as soon as you go over the over one uh, wave, you crash into the other one. So it, ju it just stops our boat dead and it's very uncomfortable and it's very slow. And it's probably not that good for the boat either, so we want to avoid it. Uh, we can do a beam reach, we can do a broad reach, we can do downwind, that's all fine. But uh, upwind, no. So uh, we're gonna wait for at least a beam reach uh, window. Uh, hopefully it comes soon, hopefully it comes about Sunday. And then we'll just do it in one go, 24 hours, and then uh, we're on the belly Eric's. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you. 
Good morning. It is the 8th of July today. We are at the fuel dock um, in Marmenor. We just left our little anchorage. We are filling a face up with fuel because we are going to sail again. If all goes well, we are finally going to go to Ibiza today. It's going to be a 24 hour, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less uh, sail. Depends on the weather. We kept looking at the weather forecast this last week, every day. All the forecasts, uh, they, they don't agree with each other. <laughs> but if three or four are slightly correct, then it'll be a nice sail towards Ibiza. But it keeps changing, so we're gonna see uh, what happens. We're just gonna go out. We are done with being here. There's not a lot to do. There are tons of jellyfish. You can swim, but it's not that nice. Um, and we just want to move, we just want to go. If it doesn't go as we planned, we can al always go into another anchorage alongside the coast here. We have some, um, we have some places we already sorted out we can, we can go. But we really want to go because the weather's going to change again and then we might not have the, the window to go to Ibiza. I really need to go because then Ilona can come visit us, it's my niece, so... Yeah, let's fuel uh, Pacey up and let's go, let's go sailing.
It's really hot. So we just fill face with a little fuel. We have to cross the water to get some water from the marina. I'm not sure what this boat is doing because the bridge is not open. Look. Uh, now we're waiting for the bridge to open. It opens once every two hours. And it's, I think it will open now. But the cars are stopped, so it will open. And look, we are. We are the front of the pack. <laughs> That's okay. I guess some people are in a hurry and don't might like to wait, even though the bridge is not open yet. But, uh, I can see it's a bachelorette party that chartered a Bavaria. Oh, no. So he's in for oh, yes. a rough day, that skipper. And I'm cool with it, but as a charter skipper, he knows exactly when the bridge opens. But yeah, it's open right it's now. Right Let's follow him. Knows the way. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go to Ibiza with oh. Captain Kim. Uh -huh. Woo -hoo. Literally Captain Kim. <laughs> yes. Well, let's hope. Let's hope that we'll be in Ibiza in like 30 hours or, or less. Yes. Yeah. Less. Uh, let's do this. Do -do 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 -do. 